Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we will discuss the problem A, B, and C of court forces round 773. So actually, the round was uh, <laughs> uh, not properly organized. Means the problem C was uh, more easy than problem B, according to me. And uh, the problem A was uh, I, you can say a easy question, easy problem based on symmetry. But the thing is, because of which many of uh, Uh, have not able to solve is that we have to use the set precision to solve the problem a because here it is asking us to minimize the error between your answer and the jury's answer and so and because of that what you have to do is you have to also set precision okay and that's the reason why i have got wrong submission and i was not able to solve problem a in a good time so yeah so first of all we will discuss a problem it was a uh, easy one then we will discuss a problem c and then the b one okay so if we talk about the problem a here it is and uh, here you have to find that uh, you have to find uh, basically there is a triangle given to you and you have to find the length of the side of a triangle such that it is not in direct contact with the x axis means means a straight line from the x axis to that uh, particular line should not in intersect the triangle so maybe many of you have or observed that if we have a reverse delta diagram what is reverse delta let me explain you it in the board if this is a sorry if this is our coordinate axis so if there is a pattern like this means there is a line so we can join this line to x axis there are so many points but we can't join this particular line to the y axis we can't do like this because it should be a straight line and there is no possible way to touch this particular line to the x axis so this is the only answer we have to get so if there is a horizontal line means a reverse delta triangle if it appears in the particular uh, problem then we have to just output the length of this particular uh, line otherwise we have to output zero okay so for that the condition is that there should be two coordinates such that their y coordinates are equal so that they are in the horizontal line and then another the third uh, should be below means the y coordinate of this third one should be less than means it should be below than the two coordinates because it can't be like this it can't be like this it should be like this only because in this case all the sides are you can say in contact with the y axis so for that what i have done is what i have implemented is let's move towards the implementation part so this is what i have been in wrong answer there is no difference between the, my wrong answer and the right answer okay let me show you in this particular what i have done is that i have just uh, inputted the size means all the coordinate then i have sorted them and when when the y axis of two coordinates are equal and the third coordinates y axis is less than then we have to just output the difference of their x axis x coordinate but why it is wrong because i have not used set precision here and here i have used it now i am beaten because of this i lost am uh, approx 200 points because of this small set precision okay this is what i learned in this contest so now the problem number b okay so for c for c1 in this what is given that you have to divide what you have to do that uh, uh, yeah so basically for each 
we have to divide a particular uh, array into some pairs so for that what you do is that if there is a uh, number x available in the or if the number a is available in the particular array then a number a into x should also be available this is the condition basically if a number a is available then a number a into x should also be available in the particular given array so for that we have to just check that if one is available then four should also be available so so this one and four makes a pair now if this four is available 16 should also be available because x is four now we will check for this and for those whose per, whose corresponding uh, pair value is not available we will insert it we will add that value at the end of the array so that was a i think a easy problem so in this uh, i think uh, i have to just put the code mai sirf ek code ko explain kar deta hu what i have done first of all i have inserted the different values okay different values in a set now what i have done i have calculated the how many times a particular value is occurring in a map now i have checked that for a particular value a which is available is there x into a here or not if it is not here then we have in, increased the answer means we have to uh, push it in in the array if it is available i have decrement that yeah we have used one of the x into a value that is what we are doing so this is what i have got okay it is in a queue means the system tester not passed yet these are some quick, quick solutions so i will move towards the b1 so b mein kya kiya hai aapko kuch ye bahut hi badhiya question tha yahan par kya kiya gaya hai ki aapko kuch type kuch power of diye gaye hain usse aapko divide karna hai kuch teams mein and the teams is from 1 to n you have to find a minimum sum of strengths you have to divide the power of such that the sum of strengths should be minimum fine okay so here we have to think reversely in the reverse order what you think is that yeah if we are dividing that uh, six power sums into six teams then obviously we are getting six uh, as the minimum sum of strength because har ek jo power up hai wo alag alag team ko milega so obviously baat hai ki hame utni strength milegi fine ye to samajh mein aa gaya last wala mein se 6 hoga yahan pe 3 hoga means the last number of the array should be n itself here it is 6 here it is 3 if there is a array of size 5 then the last number should be 5 now another thing let's move towards the whiteboard what we have to understand what we have to understand is that let's take the same uh, test case which was 512224 so it was like 5 1 2 2 2 4 Okay, so how many duplicates are? So what we will do is we will first make five, one, two, 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 four. Let's modify this. Let's make here one more four and one more one and two more five like this. Now it is quite interesting. So here I will I will try to explain you. So now here I have uh, some ten numbers and we have ten groups because first we are taking the value of k as ten. So for the value of k as ten, the number of groups we have are the uh, like this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, there is one less. Three, 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 three. Uh, three, three. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have ten teams. This is the first team, second team, third team. This is okay. Now, when we have to make a team nine, we have to minimize the strength. Okay. So, if we do what we do, if we give this particular power up to this one it will become 5 5 1, 5 1 2 2 2 4 4 4 4 4 this all have strength 1 strength 1 this will have strength 2 why because there are two different power ups 1 1 1 in this case also if we talk about the sum of strength it will be 10 it will be 10 but we have to find we have to minimize the sum of strength minimize so what we will do is because there should be if there are different number of power ups the uh, the strength will be more so hum log kya karenge agar hum log yahan se 1 hata rahe hain to usko 1 wale hi block mein dalenge fine so when we are deleting here one from here so we will not put this one here we will put this one here so this will increase from 2 to 1 and this will again 
इट इज वन इट सेल्फ ओनली ओके सो अब यहां पर जो सम हो गया हो गया नाइन आप चेक कर सकते हैं वन टू थ्री अब सबका वन वन है अगेन अभी यहां पर एक और कोई डुप्लीकेट है अगली बार क्या करेंगे हम लोग इस टू को उठा के इस टू में डाल देंगे एक ये भी कम हो जाएगा एट हो जाएगा जबकि एक वैल्यू एट होगी करते करते जब हम लोग सारे डुप्लीकेट बना लेंगे मतलब हमारे पास फाइव 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 एक एक ग्रुप में आ जाएगा वन वन एक ग्रुप में आ गया टू टू एक ग्रुप में आ गया फोर फोर एक ग्रुप में आ गया तब तक तो हमारे जो है गिरते जाएंगे मतलब के एट के लिए टेन था के नाइन के लिए वैल्यू नाइन हो जाएगी के एट के लिए एट हो जाएगी इस जगह पे जब के फोर होगा तो हमारे फोर ग्रुप बन चुके हैं वैल्यू फोर है अब इसके बाद जब हम लोग करेंगे इसके बाद जब हम लोग क्या करेंगे कि अब अब हमारे कोई भी डुप्लीकेट नहीं है कि भाई यहाँ पे एक वन था तो हमने इस वन को इसमें डाल दिया तो कोई चेंज नहीं होगा वी कैन एड एड दिस टू दिस दिस टू दिस अगर हम लोग इस वन वन को इस फाइव वाले में डालेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा फाइव 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 वन वन और टू कॉमा टू और फोर कॉमा फोर ओके इट इज लाइक दिस सो हेयर स्टैंड इज टू हेयर इट स्टैंड इज वन हेयर स्टैंड वन अगेन इन दिस केस ऑल्सो द आंसर इज फोर सो फॉर के इज इक्वल थ्री ऑल्सो द आंसर इज फोर एंड फॉर के इज इक्वल फोर ऑल्सो द आंसर वॉज फोर अगेन इफ यू डू अगेन दिस थिंग Then also here the stand is three, here the stand is one. The answer is four. Means the answer can't be less than four. If we combine this whole in the k is equal to one also, only one group. Then also the answer will be four. So the minimum answer will be the different values in that particular array. There are four different types of values, and the maximum answer will be the n. Means the number of elements in the array. So we will start from n and then go to the minimum value, minimum number, the different number of values. This is what we will do. तो अगर हम लोग वही टेस्ट केस ले लेते हैं फिर से वही टेस्ट केस ले लेते हैं जो कि हमारे पास था फाइव वन टू 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 फोर तो देखो आखिरी वैल्यू सिक्स हुई सिक्स में क्या था सिक्स के लिए क्या था इसको इसको ये सब एक ही जगह थे अब देखो हमारे पास डुप्लीकेट्स कितने हमारे पास दो डुप्लीकेट्स है कहां से दो यहां देखो यहां कितने डुप्लीकेट्स थे यहां पर हमारे पास डुप्लीकेट्स थे देखा जाए तो एक दो ये फाइव का डुप्लीकेट ये तो फाइव है है ये दो डुप्लीकेट है ना एक दो डुप्लीकेट था तीन चार पांच डुप्लीकेट थे तो जो वैल्यू आपने देखा होगा कहा गया यहां मैंने लिखा था कितने डुप्लीकेट थे एक दो तीन चार पांच छह डुप्लीकेट थे मेरे पास तो जो वैल्यू थी वो टेन से लेके फोर तक गई थी टेन नाइन एट फोर के नीचे नहीं गई थी फिर फोर 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 हो गई थी बिकॉज छह थे तो टेन माइनस सिक्स इज फोर 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 जितने डुप्लीकेट थे उतनी वैल्यू गिरती जाएगी डुप्लीकेट खत्म हमारे जो वैल्यू गिरेगी नहीं तो यहां देखो दो डुप्लीकेट है एक ये डुप्लीकेट है एक ये डुप्लीकेट है डुप्लीकेट्स कितने हो गए दो हो गए तुम्हारी सबसे बड़ी वैल्यू होगी सिक्स जब छह पार्ट्स होंगे जब पांच पार्ट होंगे तो इन दोनों को एक ले लेंगे अब वैल्यू फाइव हो गई इसके लिए वन 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 अब हम लोग जब जब हम लोग चार पार्ट करेंगे तो ये पूरे को एक ले लेंगे इसके लिए वैल्यू वन इसके लिए वैल्यू वन इसके लिए पूरे के लिए वन इसके लिए वन फोर हो गया सॉरी अब अगर हम लोग इस पूरे को एक साथ ले लेंगे तो हमारे पास वैल्यू कम नहीं होगी बिकॉज इसके लिए तो एक पहले से थी इसके लिए एक थी इसके लिए पूरे दो हो गए यहाँ पे दो डिफरेंट है एक वन एक टू है तो वैल्यू अगेन फोर हो जाएगी फिर फोर हो जाएगी फिर फोर हो जाएगी आंसर ये हो जाएगा तो दो डुप्लीकेट थे तो वैल्यू दो बार गिरी सिक्स से फाइव हुई फाइव से फोर हुई बाकी वही चल रही है दिस वॉज अ लॉजिक वॉट आई एवडन ओके लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द कोड पार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर क्लियरली द कोड वॉट आई एवडन इज ओके सो या हेर इट वॉज टाइम लिमिट एक्सीडेड ऑन टेस्ट केसेस 